in theory, you, you'll probably get a better result directly to the bicep on a machine because it's isolating. Yeah. But for today, let's see if, if we can do a dumbbell and we'll see what the limiting factor is up around your shoulder. Yeah. He was in good shape. Is that the show when he won the show? This is probably, yeah, this is probably around Cali. Yeah, he looked great when he did that. So just start uh, dumbbell alternating or double arm? Uh, single, just single. do one. Yeah, so you don't need, just literally one or two reps. So like hold it there for 20, 30 seconds. That'll be way too light, start at 30. So one arm just hangs, one arm curls up. Good, and you just can hold there, take your hips back. Good. Yep. yep, try to squeeze as hard as you can. You're trying to fatigue in the shortest amount of time possible. Take your hips back a little bit, stay there. Good. Squeeze. It's uh, like trying to get the nervous system to get excited without having to fatigue the, the muscle. <clears throat> Is this for injury prevention? No, it's just it's allowing the nervous system to ramp up because he's so low on calories because it's close to a show. It's going to get him more output once we actually start without eliciting fatigue. So we'll get higher quality vol or higher quality volume without fatigue. This is a session. So, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're doing arms, we're doing something different. Ben's gonna lead the workout. Whenever I'm working out with Ben, I like to learn different styles of training. Um, ben has so much knowledge, so letting him lead the workout and gonna learn some stuff and hopefully be able to provide you guys some cool tips on arm training. So when performing a dumbbell curl, right, you see like everyone like shoulder, shoulders go in different positions, elbows go in different positions. Some people when they curl, their elbow comes up like this. Some people keep the elbow back and curl like this. Some people are even back really yeah. far and they curl like this. Is there an optimal way when curling to put yeah. more so, stress on the bicep? The simple way to think of it is um, muscle is governed, mus muscle contractile ability is governed by stability. So the more stable you can be, the more you can contract the muscle. So you want to put your body into the most stable position possible. And so if you think of a, like a rubber band, if I handed you an end of a rubber band and I said, pull, but this end moved with it, there would be no tension being created, right? So if I'm yes. pulling, if both, if ends. both ends are moving, nothing happens. So in order for me to create one tension, tension on one end, I have to hold this end stable. So the more stable I can create this, uh, more stable I can create on this side, more stability I can create on this side, the more I can contract this muscle. So essentially it should be neutral. Should be very neutral. Yeah, very and there neutral. should be no movement. Yeah. So if it's moving like this, it's just extraneous and unnecessary. It's yeah. preventing this from contracting. Yeah. So you may use more weight, but it's not actually moving it here. So if you yes. can imagine, like the more I so like the more stable the environment I can contract from, the more this can contract. Now, as so, you're going heavier though, is it a big deal if the, the shoulder's stable but the elbow is coming slightly up? No, I, so I don't think it's a big big deal at all. I think it's it's but what's happening is if you think of it like this. When I get to this point, the relative distance, this is important. So the relative distance from the dumbbell, which is in my hand to my elbow is very relevant. Yes. So as I get closer, it actually gets lighter, yes. right? So when I'm here, this is the greatest distance from that elbow. So that's the when that weight is actually- tension force. Yeah, so it's called a moment arm. It's, it's the greatest amount of resistance. But as I bring it closer, it actually gets easier. As I bring it here, you can imagine now it's, there's zero resistance Less. to the bicep, right? Well, it's literally zero, because wow. it's like straight down through the, bi through yeah, the elbow, right? Yeah. So if I, as long as I stay where my hand is slightly outside of my elbow, which is why I'm cueing you guys, don't necessarily shorten the range, just take your hips back a little bit. Because yes. now the hand's this side of the elbow. Changes the angle. So as I do this, if I'm stacked, it's literally wasting time. I can contract my bicep there with no resistance. Yes. But adding resistance there doesn't help. Where it helps is as soon as I do this. Right. Now it's pulling me that way. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, so, sense. The thing, so yes, you can move your elbow as long as you're not coming up to the point where it's pulling you. Because at this point, it's pushing you into your yep. into tricep you extension. You change the angle of your body slightly back. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, uh, he does it well. Some people, as they as they get tired, what they'll do is they'll curl the wrist in, and it's the same idea. So your body just so your body's unconsciously trying to make it easier. So if I can take that weight from here to here, that's two inches closer to my body. So that's a lot easier, right? If I take it further away, now it's just by distance is a lot harder to mut that muscle. Dude, I train arms a grand total of two, two to three sets a week. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done arms in four week four weeks. Why? Oh, because I think I tore my tricep. Yeah. So I just, yeah. But it's feeling better, so it's going to be good. It, what's your weak body part? Oh, as far as muscular yeah. wise, I would say, like, probably as far as visually, yeah. probably pecs and arms. Right. I can see it by the way he's doing this. Yeah, pecs and arms. He's very back dominant, shoulder huh. dominant. You can see he wants to rotate, right? He's yeah, this is here. 
lock that down. Yep. The side bend is actually not a bad thing because when your lats are big, because yeah. the trajectory of your arm comes out like this, you know, so if, if I can bring my arm in here, obviously now I'm small, I can do it when I was competing, I was out here. Yeah. So now, because I, I want this to be vertical because the dumbbell is vertical. Yep. So if I'm like this, that I have to literally go, yeah, the only, he's, that's got, he's got very big Terry's under here, yeah. his lat. So for him, I, he probably has yeah, to it makes sense. get around it. Yeah, he's just like turned into it, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. Hey, um, come sit over here. So um, just let your arms hang down by your sides. Pull one knee into your chest, now the other one. Good. Now just keep your sacrum nice and flat along the ground. So it's like the whole back is right and flat on the ground. Just kind of relax. Just trying to engage there. Hold that. Do that. Just relax like that. Perfect. Hold that way. Now, uh, you can take your hands and just put them up here for now. All I want to do is um, drop your chin, chin down. Like, I want you to take your gaze between your knees. So, yeah, so your head's going to stay down for now, but I want you to look between your knees. Okay, good. Now you're going to uh, externally rotate your shoulders. Externally rotate. Tuck your hands back that way. Good. Protract. Good. Externally rotate a little more. Now lift your head up about an inch off the ground. About an inch, even less. Good. Back, back, back. Good. Right there. Now drop that chin down, look between your knees. Good, yep, so you're like, yep, so keep reaching here. Good, so all we're doing is like, because you carry your head forward, which is a lot of body, position, back a little bit, back a little bit. Good, good, hold that, drop that chin down, look between the legs. Good, all we're doing is just trying to like, get your body to, do you feel that like activating, like lengthening through here a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just activating the muscles of the uh, posterior chain a little bit. Sort of opening everything up and engaging yeah, yeah. it. It's tight, man. I'm, yeah. I'm actually learning this stuff now. Yeah. How to, it's re reestablishing fascial lines. It's a lot of bodybuilders walk like this. Yeah. Right. So all this stuff needs to be. That's good, man. You're good. Yeah. So just so now when you stand, you're noticing you're doing this, right? When you're laying down. So try to do that instead of this when you're doing a curl. Try to be here. So we're gonna get better kind of extension through the spine. Keeping neutral through yeah. the spine. Yeah. Rather than that. Okay. Yeah. I never do incline curls. So what's the what's the cue here? Keeping that elbow roll, driving roll, towards the ground. Roll the shoulder back. Yeah, yeah. Try to externally rotate through the. Okay, lock that. And so you're almost using the bench to kind of to kind of pin your scapula okay, there. Okay. Okay. Yep. Curl from there. Yep. Right. It's funny that little cue of just wrapping your scapula on the bench just helped big time. Keep that chest up. So if you're as big as you are, like what I used to do is. Literally, if I'm just doing, just do one arm at a time, just do all right side, do 10 for right side, but shift your body a little bit this way. So you can go this side first. Yeah. So shift, shift your body a little bit this way. So like get more of the scapula on the bench. So like move oh, your whole okay. body there. So you're kind of so like now, pinning it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so you're just creating more stability wow. externally, right? Yeah. This side, drive that scapula into the pad. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I dropped the hammer. <laughs> so last week, I guess Monday, Monday I just lowered the calories. My calories were higher after last show. So I was probably eating like, it depends, depending on the day, uh, 300 to 450 grams of carbs where this week I dropped them to 200 grams of carbs. Kick cardio up. I got some HIT sessions on the elliptical. Um, I got three of those a week. And then I got long steady state sessions as well, upwards of an hour. So just want to sort of pull forward this week. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying it. It's fun. So man, the concept is like, I think we talked about this before, you have internal versus external stability. So when you're standing here, it's all internal. And your body starts to fatigue, you like you feel this starting to come up. Yeah. So now we're actually adding some external support against that, right? Yeah. So like if you if you so when I, when I think of exercise, like what's the bottleneck in this exercise? So what's the what's the reason it's stopping? So when you're over there, you're noticing this was starting to happen. So this was the reason of stopping and not this. So now if we go to this exercise second, now we can pin that in place. Now this isn't gonna break anymore. Yeah. So this can Locked do more work. Down. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same as if I came behind and I kind of did this. It would have a, it would have the same effect. Yeah. And I mean, you can sort of mitigate it. You know, as soon as you start failing, it wants to come forward, yeah, so just shorten the range, you're done. It's yep, like, yep. So we can literally keep moving down the chain. So eventually the next exercise, we may go here. So now it's like further, closer. It's like more stability, closer yeah. to that joint. Yeah. So less things you have to stabilize. Yeah. Turn to handle it this way. Just a little bit. There you go. 
Nice. So good, man. <laughs> Roll that back. Roll that back more. More, 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 more. There. Yep. Posture. Let's go. I got you. I got you. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Strong. Yep. Come on. Let's go. Again, three, three, strong, three, strong. Come on, hold, squeeze, good. Bicep only. Let's go. Yep. One more. Good lock it in, man. Good set, dude. Good set. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect. Oh fuck. Oh. I like the stance that's going on. It's the Captain Morgan. He's, he's mounting it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I, I usually had two arm days. My arms were not my strength. Only because I was doing the shit that everyone else was telling me to do instead of fucking thinking about it. Yeah, it's very you, heavy. Your biceps are crazy. You have like a crazy split in the two yeah. biceps. They're, I mean, that's they just shrunk so much. <laughs> I know, but you can see the two different heads. Head right. there, head there. I never really cared about arms when I was, but until I like became high level Olympic competitor, and everyone's like, "Arms are shit." I didn't yeah, really care about it. Until it became, uh, yeah, I had to get them in. What's the? Is there a, a focus here, like bring this, keep those shoulders locked down or back? So or? yeah, so actually, put it down. I'll show you. So if you if you were to stand here, I think we may have done this before. No, we didn't. So if you just stand here like this and you extend your arm, so that's like kind of a comfortable position. If you just look at the arm, the, the path the arm would naturally take. It's kind of in line with those cables. So what you're trying to do is like lock the shoulder in place. Just let the arm go where it wants to go. So I just kind of want to do that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So instead of having to like jam yourself into extra rotation, just kind of go yep. wherever the arm wants to go. Yeah. You're not actually, getting off easy today, big guy. I've actually never done these across the body like that. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. So do, do one rep, stop at the bottom. Depress your shoulders as hard as you can so you can gauge those lats. Good. Now you lock this in place. Yep. So that's a stable. And you just flex your forearms. Like flex your. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Wow. So that stays locked. That's and it stays down. To forearms track. touch the bicep. Yep. Every time you rep. Squeeze. Wow. Now we're going to make it a little harder from the beginning. I want you to push into my hand. Go push. And push, push, push. There we go. So push through that. So you're like you're pushing into an immovable object for that first inch. Go. Yeah. No body momentum, just contraction. So squeeze this harder from the top. Squeeze as hard as you can. Cut, stop at the top. Squeeze as hard as you can. Don't move. Squeeze here. Squeeze here. Now, yeah, that's it. Now finish. Yep. There you go. So squeeze as hard as you can before you move. Squeeze. squeeze. Yep. There you go. Wow. I love these. Yep, squeeze as hard as you can before you move. Yep. So I literally want you to eliminate that momentum. Squeeze hard first, just from that position. Now go through that. There you go. Yep. Down. Yep, come on, strong. Yep. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. Stay split, just keep turning that wrist. Keep that down, keep that down, keep that down. So, watch how he finishes this, right? Like, don't worry about the hand, but so he's coming up, his forearm's actually vertical, no more tension, so I'm having him stay over top of it a yeah, bit more. Get over it. Yep. It's almost like he has to focus on not over curling. He's yep. trying to get too high almost. Yep. Well, no, let him get as high as he can, but just change the body Make position. Make sure he's over it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Squeeze hard. Don't let go. Don't uh. let go. Don't let go. Good, come on. Down. Let's go. Strong. Come on. Go. Resist the negative. Keep the elbow down. Put the elbow down. Good. Resist the negative. Resist the negative. Resist the negative. Resist the negative. One more. Come on. Go. Go. So you guys see go, go, go. what he's trying to do is he's trying to he's trying to make sure that Cody, as he's curling, his elbow is staying into the pad hard, and as he's curling, he's you know supinating that wrist really hard and contracting while keeping that elbow hard against the pad, and to ensure that he's not coming up, you know he's staying over top of it to make sure there's maximum tension on the bicep throughout it. Because what happens is if, if I'm here, this dumbbell is here, there's lots of tension. But if I'm like this, there's no tension. 
So just manipulating the angles to make sure there's as much tension as possible on the bicep. Now big step forward, go here and just extend down, no more extension at the elbow. There you go. Cool. Hold it down. Big step forward. All the way in, all the way in, all the way in. Now almost like extend it that way. There you go. <sighs> Just changes the resistance profile. Oh my god. So when you feel like you can't go anymore, make sure you're stabilizing here. Yep. Now step forward and extend this way. Keep coming. Keep, yes, just, yeah, there you go. Now extend out. There you go. Oh. So it'll be really hard there. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Wow. It's like a good stretch, too. Yeah. So basically, Laura, we're just changing the part of the exercise that's most difficult. So when he's fresh in the beginning, we're making it hard here, which is where the body is weakest. We walk forward, we make it hard in the midline, and we walk wow. way forward, we make it hard in that really stretched position. Wow. Good one. That's cool. First time training arms in a month. Got my favorite gas tank top on. Which is your code what? Code what? My code is Dorian15 for gasp and better bodies. <sighs> You guys are looking too big. <laughs> What's your weight? My coach, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's your weight? Uh, I'm like 245. Yeah. What was yeah. the stage weight last time? Uh, stage weight was 238. 238. So I think I'll be a little bit bigger this time, though. Yeah. A couple pounds. Yeah, we'll see. I think if I carb up, like I'll, I'll go as high as like, like last on Sunday. I carved up, I was like 249, 250. And then throughout the week, I drop, you know? Yeah, I think you come up a little bit in that seat. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Before you move, stay tight here. I'm gonna start getting big again if I keep playing with you guys. Watch out. I'm taking over the men's physique. <laughs> it feels good to train triceps. For first, um, no, it feels it feels pretty good actually. You know, I think I was patient. Uh, I was what three or three, three was it three weeks ago? Yeah, about three weeks ago. I think I got a small tear in the tendon here, so I didn't train arms for three weeks. But uh, you know, it feels feels pretty good. Oh. 
All right, guys, so that's the arm workout for today. Um, we're not doing a ton of volume today for arms. It's my first time training triceps in a couple weeks because of a little injury. Uh, so it felt good to get back in the gym and get some arm training in. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. You know, it's always fun training with Ben, learning new things, different techniques, things we can apply to our training. Um, so tomorrow we're actually gonna be training some legs. So I'm looking forward to that. So guys, make sure to comment down below anything you guys wanna see. Appreciate all your support. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I noticed like, you know, tons of you guys are watching the videos, but not everyone's subscribing. It just helps out. So appreciate everyone, all your support. Until next time.